toys. So today we're going to talk a little bit about jellyfish aquariums and uh, disclose some of the secrets, we'll call them, of the jellyfish world. Come on in. When we uh, bought the uh, building four years ago, we wanted to put a jellyfish aquarium in as a display unit in the entry. Hi gals. We decided to open up this wall and make a pass through to come into the building so we can go into the showroom to see the big reef. But the see-through jellyfish tank was a really great addition and um, gave us the ability to have a beautiful jellyfish aquarium as well. So the wall is about six inches thick. I cut a, a, a windowsill basically on there and we built a cabinet here that is accommodates the 24 inch wide jellyfish aquarium. So the top of this cabinet cantilevers over and onto the drywall, which we supported with some additional structural supports. It's a double chrysal uh, jellyfish aquarium. So the water flow comes down the sides and spins up through the middle and back around again. Up above, we have um, outdoor LED lighting, which is super nice. It's uh, water uh, proof fixtures for outdoor illumination of a building. You can change the color of the jellyfish themselves. You can see it's going through a color wheel now like a blue to orange, then we'll get a green and we'll get a red, we'll get a purple and just have one color for Halloween and orange and one color for St. Patrick's Day, green and, and red on Christmas and just all sorts of different light modes that you'd wanna do. Some of these jellyfish could be five or six months old, these bigger ones right here. And again, we breed all the jellyfish in our state certified lab here in our facility. So I'm gonna give you a little overview of the top secret filtration. It's nothing more than a biological system. The aquarium in and of itself, kind of like I would with a reef aquarium or any open air gas exchange system, you gotta have a sump, you have overflows coming down the top, You've got biological filter medium. I've got uh, three Kenny Pure Blues down here. We typically change those out monthly. Uh, there's a refugium area. Of course, a protein skimmer with a bubble blocker so we don't get bubbles going through. Jellyfish don't like bubbles. We've also done some sulfur denitrification. Uh, there's a Deltec unit in there. That's working super well. I have about zero nitrates in the system today. A couple of water pumps, uh, some DI filters on there. Uh, there's also in here a um, UV sterilizer, 57 watt, and auto feed system. So we're feeding Artemia uh, to the jellies on a continuous basis. They're fed five times a day um, and they love it. The aquarium is approximately 450 gallons, eight feet long, uh, 48 inches tall and 24 inches wide. It's been running continuously now for close to three years and it was actually the first aquarium operating in the building. We have some really unique jellyfish systems that we built. At this point, we've probably built about 40 really high-end custom jellyfish aquariums. Beautiful and spineless and brainless. We have patents on our jellyfish art, small desktop cylindrical tanks, and I can show you those here. This is the five gallon. It's about four small jellies in there. It's air driven. It's a really unique design. Working on a couple more designs this year. Hopefully we'll have those out by November. This unit was the number one success ever for an aquarium product on Kickstarter. A real easy design, very simple, and it's an economical and affordable jellyfish aquarium for consumers and for their house. When I turn the lights off, and I'll do that right now, it's super nice. Look at this in the dark. Just look how fabulous this is. I mean, it is the coolest nightlight you've ever seen. People love it. They glow just floating in the abyss and it really lowers my blood pressure. I love it. Wow.